So guys, this is going to be a real quick video, sort of, on how to achieve the best FPS you can get on PPSSPP. Now, bear in mind, I'm using the Snapdragon 835 with 8 gigs of RAM. Now, you may be using a slower CPU, that doesn't mean you can't get the same result because the game you're playing may be less demanding. I couldn't really tell you what CPU you need um, as the lowest requirement to play games perfectly. But if you follow my settings, maybe you'll get the best results for you. But you don't necessarily need to copy my settings. I'll just kind of explain how they work. So I'm going to use this example with Midnight Club LA Remix. The reason why I'm going to show that is because it's a big PSP game. Uh, it's one of those titles that a lot of people want to play and probably one of the best racing games for PSP. So I'm going to show you how I achieved 60 frames. This works for all games. The settings will be different, but you'll understand how to use them. Now, with Midnight Club, the game used to work perfectly on Vulcan. If you can use Vulcan on your device, always try Vulcan first, because Vulcan tends to be much better than OpenGL. However, after this update, I'm getting issues with Midnight Club, graphical-wise, and it's not playable at all. So I have to use OpenGL. The only issue with OpenGL is it's not as good as Vulkan. Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit more pushy on a device, it struggles more. And so, with that being said, while I'm screen recording, I don't get the perfect result like I do when I'm not screen recording. So I'm going to show you that I can get close to 60 frames while I'm recording 1080p at 60 frames. So at least you know when I'm not recording, I'm going to get a better result than what I'm showing you. So the first thing you want to do on PPSSPP is create a game config for every game. Because every game requires different settings. So open up your game, hit the back button and go straight into game settings once you've created the game config. Now you can probably see here that most of my settings are stock. The only thing I really change is I enable the FPS and I enable the, I, I alter the clock speed. I never keep it on auto. And I guess I'll show you why. So on this part on the rendering mode, always use Vulkan if you can. Like I said, Vulkan's easier, but now I'm receiving glitches. I'm having to use OpenGL, which sucks, but it's still playable. Okay. So, I'm going to go through this. So, I'm pretty sure this is stock. Again, show FPS counter. Make sure you, you enable that on both. That allows you to see that when you're changing the settings, if the games are having a better result or a worse. Because even though it may not be visible, you know, to your eye... Yeah, you know, the game recognizes that it's going downhill. So this is really what you want to change. The CPU clock speed. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't think the faster the clock speed, the better your game's going to work. That's not the case. There's some games that work better on a 20 clock speed, a 30 clock speed. And then there's some games where you need to push it for it to um, work you know and some games work better on a higher number some games work better on a lower number so I'm going to show you how to sort of understand that so firstly when you've got the FPS enabled you will see the FPS um, that you're achieving and then next to it the maximum FPS so for example if you're receiving 25 frames, it may say 25 frames out of 30. And then in brackets, you'll have a, a percentage out of 100. Now, what that means is the, the percentage is the speed. So if you've used the Daemon PS2 emulator, you'll experience it a lot. It will say you're achieving 60 frames per second. And you could be because the game could actually be working really smoothly. The issue is, it may not be working full speed, so it's really smooth, but it's in slow motion. Does that make sense? 
So this is what this solves, and this is how you kind of work it out. So firstly, never keep it on auto. What I would do is, you know, put it on a small kind of number. So put it around 30, 40. And then what you want to do is take note of your frame you're getting and the frame you could be getting. Now, if it says 30 out of 30, check its stability. You know, if it seems smooth, play it for a good minute or two. If it stays on 30, you've got a great setting because you're then at a stable 30 FPS. But what if you could achieve 60? Now, this is where you want to alter it. Now, if you're altering it higher and higher or lower and lower, and it, the, the FPS is not achieving 30, there could be two reasons. If the FPS still says 30 out of 30, what that means is the game is capped at 30 frames. The game does not run at 60 frames. No matter what device you're using, you will not play that game at 60 frames. If it says 30 out of 60, what that means is the game can run at 60 frames, but it's probably your hardware or a setting you need to enable to increase that speed. But again, I couldn't really go into that because I tend to leave my settings at stock and I tend to have no issues at all. Now, I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to take this back to auto. And I'm going to show you the result. And then I'm going to alter it and again, show you the result and explain things again. So you understand it a bit more. Now, every time you change settings, always save the state and load the state. Otherwise, the settings would take place in the menu, but the gameplay won't actually change. So I'm going to load back into my state. Now, as you can see, it says 60 frames, uh, I'm getting 60 out of 60, and as you can see, I'm reaching about 100% speed. So that means I am playing perfectly 60 frames. But here's the result. So as you can see, 61, 60, it's perfect. 55, and now we're jumping into 30, 45, 34, 44. So as you can see, it is all over the place. Now, of course, 30 frames is playable. If you can achieve 30 frames at 100 speed and it's not dipping, you know, and you're receiving 30 out of 30, just like I was then, the game is going to be perfectly playable. You don't necessarily need to alter it unless you know that the game can achieve 60 and your hardware can achieve 60. So, <clears throat> but the issue is, because it's jumping between 30 and 60, it's all over the place, It's and it's going to put you off. If you're in a race, and you've got 60 frames, and you're about to reach the turn, and then it jumps out to 30, your game's going to stutter, your game's going to delay, and you're going to crash. That's just how it is. So, even though it's all over the place, my speed is 100, which means it's fluent. The, sa the sound is working perfectly, but the gameplay is all over the place. So, this is what I do. I go back, go game settings, go system, go back to the CPU clock speed. So again, I make that small change. There's 30. Back, load state. So now I'm going to test it. So right now, as you can see, it says the maximum I'm going to reach is 5 frames. And this is in the menu. But again, some games may work better on 30. Now, even just working the menu, it is terrible. I'm getting full speed but only 5 frames per second. That is not good. So then what you do is you turn it up a little bit. So let's say you went from 30 to 100. And let's say it's playing better on 100. You know that going higher is better. Now let's say you put it onto 100 and it was going worse as you turn it up. You know that the sweet spot is between 30 and 100. So I'm going to load the state now. So as you can see, I'm now reaching 20 frames per second. Even though I'm reaching full speed, do I really want to play the game at 20 FPS? Let's see if it's playable. No. I don't like this. Even though I've not got frame skipping turned on, it seems very frame skipping. Again, reaching perfect speed, just not perfect frames. So, again, we're going to change that. 
So this time I'm going to make a bigger jump. I'm going to put it on 240, so I'm going to double it. Again, don't think that the higher the number, the better it's going to work. All games are different. And even then, if a game works higher, there is still an, you know, if it works perfect on 200, taking it higher might make the game run worse. That's why I said you got to find that sweet spot. So again, here I'm getting 30 out of 30. So if your device can't reach 60 frames, this might be perfect for you. It may be less demanded for your device, and you've got a playable frame rate. So I'm just going to see if this uh, fluctuates, if it goes up and down. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on a busy motorway. Yeah, I mean, this is playable. It's, it's not perfect, but it's definitely playable. But my aim is to try and play the game 60 frames per second. Now, again, you want to take note. So, if you found a number where your game works perfectly on 30, and, you know, there's no drops, it's stable, the speed is between 95 and 100, write it down. Keep on the notes on your phone. Do whatever you can to remember that number. Because what you want to do now is see if it's possible for the game to reach 60 frames. So what I'm going to do here is go into system, go back to the CPU clock speed, and I'm going to probably take up to 320. Now oh, that's going to take a while, 360 would do. Here, and load the state back up. So as you can see, now that that second number it's gone 60 out of 60. I know that the game runs at 60. If you can't get it to 60, it could be two things. One, your settings. Two, your device. So as you can see, 62 at 60, 61, 60. I'm getting full speed too. Let's just see if it drops. So, yeah, I'm getting big drops. I just dropped down to 37. It could just be a hiccup. Maybe it's only going to happen the once. Nope. It's dropping. And the only issue with that is. Going from 60 to 30. Again. It's all over the place. It's basically just as bad as it was on auto. So my aim now. Is to stop it from dropping. Via the settings. If I can't get it to work. I know that number. Where I can get the game to run at 30. Perfectly. So. I'm going to take the number higher on the clock speed. If it plays worse, I know to go lower. So I'm going to try 420. Load the state. So I can, I can achieve 60 frames. My aim is to just stop the frame drop. Now I know if I can get through this motorway without frame dropping, it's going to work perfectly at everywhere else. Because you're not going to see this many cars on the street. So I've got perfect sound. I'm achieving 60 frames. Stable. While I'm also recording at 1080p. Now, that's one thing I'm going to bear in mind. I'm achieving 54, 55 frames at full speed while I'm recording at 1080p at 60 frames so I know that right now this setting is perfect because even though I may not be getting 460 now I know that I most likely will when I'm not recording and that is how you achieve 60 frames in every game if the game isn't 60 frames it's how to achieve 30 frames So, I really hope this works for you, 